what it is guys how y'all doing i hope you're doing real good uh today i'm going to talk about um how i save money for my trip as you know i was just on a five week long super festival fun filled friends filled dance filled camping filled vacation um i went to a few places in europe and in you know, Northern Ontario. So I'm back home now and I just wanted to shed a little light on how I saved uh, money for the trip. Now, if you know me or if I've mentioned this before, I'm really not the best at saving money. Um, I definitely need to do it in a way that um, has to be very easy and effortless um, because I honestly just spend a lot of money on food. So I spend a lot of money there um, and I have nothing to show for it except for full belly and good times. <laughs> so if you're like me or have another vices like, you know, wigs or makeup or hair or clothes or, you know, collectibles and you want to still do some of that and still try and save money, well, these are a couple tips on what I did, and maybe you can try too if you want to save money so you can travel or, you know, get a car or, I don't know, do something that costs a lot of money. So let's get right into it. The very first thing I did, and I don't know if this will be accessible for everyone, but I, some banks have the option to put like a, like a scheduled savings so what that what i'm trying to say is you put a bit of money away every week or every month or every paycheck or whatever so what i do is i set it to two days after i get paid um so let's say i get paid on saturday every monday um i'll, I'll set the uh, online banking setting to every monday to put i don't know 75 dollars away or $25 away and you just make that setting you can change it at any time um, and yeah so every paycheck a certain amount of money goes into a savings account and <clears throat> yeah it, it, you can change it at any time you can edit it at any time so it can be more or it can be less depending on your situation at the time so that's what I do. That's a way that I can make my savings grow or build up savings without even having to think about it. The second thing I do, I definitely have a piggy bank. This is my piggy bank. It's my Treasures of Wakanda King T'Challa head. It's really empty right now. Well, because I just, well, not really empty, but it's um, pretty empty right now. All my coins, just anytime I go shopping or at the end of the week, I'll usually have like a bunch of like spare change. All of that just goes into here and I barely touch it. Um, now this is a savings that I can, I will allow myself in times of emergency to access. Um, that way the money in my like online money, my like, yeah, my online money just stays growing or stays stagnant at least. And if I need to, I just, dip into this guy and I'll grab what I need for emergencies or whatever. So just throw any change that you have, any like spare bills that you have, um, into a piggy bank. Now, before I left, King T'Challa was like overflowing. Like I actually had to either take all the coins out, roll them up and put them in the bank. But I was, it was just in time for the trip. And this head got me about, I think it was $500 just in coins, not even the bills. I don't think I had any bills at the time, but um, yeah, $500 in coin can fit in a head that's roughly the size of my head. And the last thing I do is if you guys have a partner or a parent that you trust, I just give someone my debit card. Like, don't let myself spend it. That's the third thing I do. Just like, give my partner my debit card and he only gives it to me 
when I need it, like when we are actually going out together or doing something. If I need to buy groceries, I'll be like, hey, can I have my debit card? I'm going to get groceries, all that kind of stuff. That way, that person who is more responsible than myself can <laughs> can um, sort of like, you know, help me out with like not spending my money on something stupid. I also don't have a... a, a credit card. So if you can hold off on getting a credit card for as long as humanly possible, do that because that stuff will put you in debt and debt is not fun to get out of. And it really sucks when you're trying to save for something fun. So yeah, I hope that helped you guys. Those are just three little tips that I do to, um, save money. <laughs> um, and I hope this helped. You guys try it out. Let me know what you guys are saving up for. If there's some place you want to go, if there's something that you really want to get that's going to take you a couple months to save up for. And I really hope you get it. Until next time. Bye.